Have you ever found yourself struggling with the development of characters and plot in your novel? This question resonates with many of us, doesn't it? Weaving a compelling narrative is no easy task. It requires us to breathe life into our characters, to craft their personalities, motivations, relationships, and arcs. It demands that we construct a plot that pulls readers in, complete with tension, conflict, and a captivating story arc. Yet, these elements often prove to be stumbling blocks. Crafting well-rounded characters and an engaging plot is a complex process, one that can confound even the most seasoned writers. But fear not, every struggle brings with it an opportunity to learn and grow. And it is these struggles that we will address today. In this video, we'll delve into these challenges and explore how to overcome them using case studies from To Kill a Mockingbird and The Great Gatsby. But what do we mean when we talk about character development? This phrase often gets thrown around in writing circles. But let's break it down into its key components, the building blocks that breathe life into the characters that inhabit our stories. First off, we have to define their personalities. Are they introverted or extroverted? Optimistic or pessimistic? Their personality traits will influence how they react to the world around them and how they interact with other characters. Next, we establish clear motivations. What drives them? What's their goal? What are they willing to do to achieve it? These motivations can be as simple as survival or as complex as seeking redemption for past mistakes. Crafting backstories is another crucial aspect of character development. It's like building a foundation for a house. Their past shapes who they are in the present. It informs their beliefs, attitudes, and behaviors. But no character is perfect, and introducing flaws and imperfections is what makes them relatable and human. A character without flaws is often uninteresting and unbelievable. These flaws can create conflict, hinder their progress, and provide opportunities for growth. Speaking of relationships, how our characters interact with others is a reflection of their character. Are they a loyal friend, a loving sibling, a doting parent, or are they the exact opposite? These relationships can reveal a different side of them, adding layers to their personality. Finally, giving characters arcs is what keeps the readers invested in their journey. An arc is the change or transformation that a character undergoes from the beginning to the end of the story. It could be a positive change, like overcoming a fear, or a negative one, like succumbing to their vices. Character development is a complex process. It's like sculpting a statue, where each stroke reveals a little more of the figure hidden within the block of stone. Let's examine how these elements come together in To Kill a Mockingbird. To Kill a Mockingbird is a classic example of effective character development. In Harper Lee's celebrated novel, each character is a masterful construct of individuality, motivations, backstories, flaws, relationships, and arcs. These elements are skillfully intertwined, contributing to the overall narrative and making the characters feel real, relatable, and memorable. Let's start with Scout, our young protagonist. She is defined by her curiosity and boldness, traits that lead her on a journey of discovery throughout the novel. Her backstory, growing up fatherless in a small town, shapes her worldview and fuels her desire for understanding. Her flaws, such as her quick temper, add layers of complexity to her character and make her more human. Scout's relationships, particularly with her brother Jem and their reclusive neighbor Boo Radley, are central to the plot and her character development, as they challenge her perceptions and teach her valuable lessons about empathy and justice. Moving on to Atticus Finch, Scout's father. Atticus is the epitome of moral integrity, a beacon of justice in a world clouded by prejudice. His unwavering commitment to righteousness, despite the societal norms of the time, is his defining trait. His backstory as a widower and single father in a prejudiced society shapes his motivation to instill strong moral values in his children. His relationships, especially with his children and Tom Robinson, the black man he defends in court, reveal his inner strength and compassion. Atticus's character arc is less about personal transformation and more about reinforcing his steadfast moral compass, a beacon for others to follow. Lastly, let's consider Boo Radley, the enigmatic recluse who lives next door to Scout and Jem. His backstory, shrouded in mystery and local folklore, arouses curiosity and fear among the town's children. His motivations are subtle but profound, as he quietly watches over Scout and Jem, ultimately saving their lives. His relationship with the children evolves from fear to understanding, illustrating the book's central theme of empathy. Boo's character arc completes when he finally steps out of the shadows, revealing his true, gentle nature. 
The characters in To Kill a Mockingbird are not just names on a page, they are fully realized individuals, each with their unique personalities, motivations, backstories, flaws, relationships, and arcs. They grow and evolve, shaped by their experiences and interactions. They make mistakes, learn, and change, just like real people. As we can see, the characters in To Kill a Mockingbird are well-rounded and complex, adding depth to the story. Now that we've discussed character development, let's turn our attention to plot development. This is the framework that gives your story its shape and direction. It's about more than just what happens, it's about how, why, and when it happens too. One of the first steps in plot development is identifying key plot points. These are the moments of high drama or significant change that anchor your story. They provide a roadmap for your narrative, guiding you from one event to the next. Next, we have conflict and tension. These are the engines that drive your plot forward. Conflict arises from the obstacles that your characters face in pursuit of their goals, while tension builds as these obstacles become more daunting or complex. Crafting subplots is another key aspect of plot development. Subplots are secondary storylines that complement your main plot, adding depth and complexity to your narrative. They can provide additional conflict or tension, flesh out your characters, or explore themes in greater detail. Creating a story arc is also crucial. This is the overall shape of your narrative, from the initial setup to the final resolution. It's the journey your characters embark on, and it should be both compelling and satisfying for your readers. Foreshadowing and pacing are other important elements. Foreshadowing is about hinting at events to come, building anticipation and suspense. Pacing, on the other hand, is about controlling the speed and rhythm of your story, ensuring that it flows smoothly and maintains interest. Finally, there's the three-act structure, a tried-and-true blueprint for narrative design. The first act introduces your characters and their world, the second act deepens the conflicts and raises the stakes, and the third act brings everything to a climax and resolution. These elements of plot development are clearly illustrated in The Great Gatsby. The Great Gatsby is a prime example of intricate plot development. F. Scott Fitzgerald's classic novel is a masterclass in how to weave together key plot points, conflict and tension, and subplots to create a narrative that captivates readers. The plot of The Great Gatsby is deceptively simple on the surface, but underneath it's a complex tapestry of relationships, desires and dreams, all of which are carefully constructed to build tension and intrigue. Let's start with the key plot points. The entire narrative is built around Jay Gatsby's singular obsession with Daisy Buchanan. Fitzgerald uses this obsession as a springboard for the rest of the story, introducing other characters and plot lines that all tie back to this central theme. Each plot point serves a purpose, pushing the narrative forward and adding layers to the story. Next, we have conflict and tension. The great Gatsby is rife with it. The tension between Gatsby's dream of Daisy and the reality of their situation, the conflict between old money and new money, the clash of social classes, and the inherent conflict in Gatsby's character, a man who built his wealth through illegal means, yet yearns for acceptance from high society. Each of these elements of conflict and tension adds depth to the narrative, making it more engaging and compelling. Now onto subplots. While Gatsby's pursuit of Daisy is the main plot, Fitzgerald introduces several subplots that enrich the story. There's the relationship between Tom and Myrtle, the disintegrating marriage of the Buchanans, and Nick Carraway's own experiences in the East. These subplots not only add complexity to the narrative but also provide contrasts and comparisons to the main plot, enhancing the overall story arc. Fitzgerald also uses foreshadowing and pacing to great effect. The ominous eyes of Dr. T.J. Eckelberg, the green light at the end of Daisy's dock, Gatsby's extravagant parties, these all serve to foreshadow the impending tragedy. The pacing of the novel is deliberate, with Fitzgerald slowly revealing information and building up to the climactic confrontation, followed by the swift, tragic conclusion. Finally, Fitzgerald embraces the three-act structure. The first act introduces the characters and sets up the story, the second act sees the rise and fall of Gatsby's dream, and the third act brings the story to its tragic end. This structure helps to keep the narrative focused and drives the story forward. Through careful plot development, The Great Gatsby crafts a narrative that keeps readers engaged from start to finish. While structure is important, it's also crucial to allow your story some room to breathe. This is where the art of flexibility in storytelling comes into play. 
A rigidly structured plot can sometimes feel too predictable, while a story that's too loose may seem directionless. The key is to strike a balance. Let's consider the concept of being open to inspiration. As you write, you may find that your characters take on lives of their own, leading you down paths you hadn't initially planned. Rather than resisting, embrace these spontaneous detours. They often lead to the most memorable parts of your story. Next, there's the process of re-evaluating your outline. Remember, your initial outline is not a concrete blueprint, but a living, evolving guide. It's a roadmap, not a straitjacket. As you write, don't be afraid to revisit and revise your outline to better fit the story's natural progression. Now let's talk about trusting your characters. As your characters develop, they'll start to feel more real. They may even surprise you with their actions and decisions. Instead of forcing them into preconceived roles, let them show you who they truly are. Trust them to guide your storytelling. Next up is the balance between structure and freedom. While structure helps you stay focused and on track, freedom allows for creativity and spontaneity. Like a jazz musician, you need to know the basic chords to play the song, but the magic comes from the improvisation within those chords. Finally, we have the process of revising and refining. Writing isn't a one-and-done process, it's an ongoing journey of revision. As you write, reread, and edit, you'll find new ways to improve your story, make it more coherent, more impactful, and more engaging. With a balance of structure and flexibility, you can craft a narrative that is both planned and organic. This is the power of flexibility in storytelling. It allows you to tell a story that is compelling, authentic, and truly yours. Let's recap what we've covered today. We began our journey by acknowledging the struggles often encountered in character and plot development. It's a crucial step in the novel writing process, one that can make or break your story. We then delved into the nuances of character development, discussing the importance of defining personalities, establishing clear motivations, crafting rich backstories, introducing flaws and imperfections, and setting up relationships. It's all about creating well-rounded characters that your readers can connect with on a deeper level. We explored these principles in action through the lens of To Kill a Mockingbird, a classic that showcases character development at its finest. Next, we turned our attention to plot development. We discussed the significance of identifying key plot points, developing conflict and tension, crafting subplots, and creating a story arc. We also touched upon the use of foreshadowing, pacing, and the three-act structure. We illustrated these concepts using The Great Gatsby, a narrative that seamlessly weaves these elements together. Finally, we emphasized the importance of flexibility in storytelling. It's essential to allow the story to evolve as you write, to be open to inspiration, to reevaluate your outline, and to trust your characters. We also highlighted the need for a balance between structure and freedom, and the importance of revising and refining your work. We looked at the Harry Potter series, a brilliant example of flexibility in storytelling. In essence, step four in writing your novel is a complex but rewarding process. It's about creating characters that feel real, plots that keep readers on the edge of their seats, and stories that are alive, capable of growth and change. By focusing on character and plot development and allowing for flexibility in your storytelling, you can create a compelling and engaging novel. Happy writing!